Hi guys, welcome to another demo. Again, I'm just like trying different games here and there, just trying to trying to get uh, either find something new to play, or maybe you guys have suggestions for me. Uh, either or, um, the demo question for today is the Dio Field Chronicles. I believe this is a tactical role-playing game made by Square Enix, Silverstone Inc. Okay, now let's start. I'm gonna start with normal. Uh, that's fine. I don't. I did hear good things about this one. Chapter one. A way oh. of life. Ooh. It's voice acting. Magical. <laughs> this seems pretty cool. Eight years later. Wait, what? I I knew a little I knew a little bit more context. Oh wow, the graphics look pretty good. It's kind of hard, man. You got two horses, and they're and they're pulling a wagon. Oh, I knew. Oh man, yeah, the horses took off. They're scared. They're bandits. See, the graphics look really good. Ooh, the white knight. The knight in shining armor. Ooh. That was cool. Oh, it's, it's, it's a young lady. That's cool. Perry, Perry. Oh no. Oh, assassin. Oh, that's cool. Again, the graphics look nice now. But... There's one thing to see like TGI graphics and then to see it in actual battle. So it's again, I'm saying all this stuff is cool, <laughs> but I gotta wait to see the actual gameplay. Central Field, Durley Road. Uh, victory conditions: defeat all enemies. De defeat conditions. Vi okay, all allies defeated. Okay, cool. This is almost like the. <laughs> Kind of like the like relay that that I played the other day. So far, so good. Hopefully, the voice acting is a little bit better on this one. We need to be sure the bandit's target hasn't come to harm. To the carriage. Move cursor. Select units. Set destination. And hold square for selective for. To select multiple units. Okay. While setting destination, set a waypoint. You can specify a route to move them alongside. Use this to make ground units obstacles. Okay. Order all units to move or attack or set a waypoint to your movements. Oh, very cool. All right, let me test this out. So. So basically, I come here, right? So I move them all. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> oh, that was really cool. Hurt? So I can, like, like it makes that ring and then you can grab all of them. And then you, you can have all those units move. Oh, that is really cool. I wonder if I, like, I, it did show that you can draw, draw out a, like, movement, like, like a map. Uh, who are you? Let's just say that we're soldiers. Soldiers? Then might I ask you to secure this area? You will be rewarded, of course. Oh, and take this as well, just in case. It's a prototype, but it should serve you well. Certainly. Hmm. Please, seek shelter and leave the fighting to us. Who do you lot think you are? Sticking your nose in where it don't belong. Hand her over! Everything's going according to plan. You remember the next steps, Rius? Hmm. X on an enemy attack. The unit will go after the specified enemy. Once they're in range, they'll start attacking automatically. Attack from behind and ambush the target. 
Ambush attacks deal greater damage than normal attacks. Don't let enemies approach from the rear and try to find ways to orchestrate pincer movement so that they can so that you can ambush attack your target. So you can ambush attack your target. When setting a destination for a unit, the enemy detection range will be displayed. Any unit that enters within the range will be spotted and attacked. So basically watch out for ranged. Of course. Ugh. This guy looks tired. <laughs> Good. Then let's get this done. This is place uh, your next objective. Complete an objective and the next objective will be displayed. Complete objectives to complete the mission. R2 status overview. Check the status of the battle from overhead. You can reattempt a battle from any point at which an objective was completed. You can you can do so by selecting the checkpoint from the battle log. Okay, so in case you screw up drawing in between an objective, you can restart it. This may come in handy if one of your units is in incapacitated or you want to try a different approach. Oh, that's very cool. I really like this. It gives you like, oh, maybe I should have approached a different way. So, okay, so let's do this. Wait, uh... Okay, so that's how I draw the map. Come over here. Uh, wait, hold up. Let's do this. Again, it does say that uh, you want to be able to pincer attack. On my way. Okay, so the okay, so the movement. So you. Let's do this. Uh, can I bring her over? Oh, it looks like I can move them no matter how far. Okay, so let's move her Got here. It. And then you will move Understood. here. I'll, I'll, I'll do a direct attack on him. And then grab her. Like Got this. It. And then I grab him. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to try, try out how this... Uh, this whole system works. But let's go here. On my way. <clears throat> and then let's move him Don't like this. Damn, <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, they're gonna kill him pretty quickly. Okay, because he has the upper hand, this guy, he gets a attack. Perfect. Oh that's cool. I do have to get a little bit better at it. No, I don't want to move all the way. Let's do this. On my way. And then her. He's gonna Let's get going. Do this. And then him. Move this way. Very well. Let's grab him. Don't. Here. And then she can attack from the side. Let's get going. Oops. Like this. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> oh, I really like this. to have made it this far but your luck ends here there are even more of them to deal with now what's the plan let's find ways to hit as many of them as we can at once does that sound doable Rias? okay the command skills are and items are accessed through the command menu skills are used by expanding ep what's it like uh each skill has a cooldown period that must that must elapse before the skill can be used again. Try using your skills to attack the enemy. Very much so. I'm ready when you are. I thought that guy was a guy on a horse. Good. <laughs> then let's get this over with. They almost sound like they're at odds. All right, let's uh. No. Uh. Understood. Oops. Wait, wait. All right, let's move them all. 
this way. way. <laughs> it is nice I can move all the units at once. Okay, so basically if I click command... Uh, wait, she's got a summon. Bahamut? Oh, this is cool. Power 1000. Oh, am I going to get a chance to summon? I think it said if I use command... I don't want to do that, but they said to use. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna have to command. Let's just use the potion. Let's heal him up. 198, and then Understood. let's attack him directly. Let's do this. Let's grab him. On my way. Let's get going. Okay, so do I use the item off battle? Let's get going. Oops, uh, let me see. Did it say oh EP assassin? Gone with you. Nice. Okay, so does she have one as well? Shield there. Here it goes. Oh, stun them. If a character has a status effect, they will suffer from various effects such as reduced movement, movement speed, or regular damage. You can tell which status effect is on, is on your unit, which status effect your units have <laughs> from the status icon shown on the unit's list. Okay. I thought like the whole point to like me going through this is I had to use an item. So that's why I was trying to figure out how do I use an item? But I had to use a skill. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna use him because he has like I feel like he's got the most hit points. So let's. Uh, it will only aggro one if I go do Understood. this. So let's aggro him. Let's bring him over here. I don't want to get with him. It's a little bit more safer. Let's bring her. Oh, that's cool. Oops, I'm gonna have to uh, come on. Uh, let's bring her over here. Okay, so that aggroed both of them. That was good. Let's move him Go. here. And then let's move her. Let's get going. On my way. Uh, let's just assassinate. With you. Let's try to get rid of them as fast as possible. Wait, does he have a skill as well? Okay, he pushed him. You call that an attack? <laughs> Here it goes. I stunned him. Because like, right now I turned him around. That was good. Whoa, that's, that guy was violent. Right, let's do, let's do this again. Next target. Hey, that orb has started glowing. Does that mean we can use it, perhaps? A royal government prototype, huh? Well, let's see what it can do. Hmm. The V enemies will fill up your TP gauge. The TP gauge is filled in three stages. Magellum orbs are extremely powerful. Extremely powerful special items that consume TP when used. It's like technical. Oh, it's up for the summons. Oh, nice. Open the command with triangle and select Bahamut to attack the enemy. Ooh, let's do it. Uh, Understood. Okay. I, I was surprised that I had to do that. I think she's the one that had Bahamut, or did they all have Bahamut? Oh, they all do. Okay, let's go. Let's move over here. Go. Apparently, I just need to activate it. Or do I need to be really close? Okay, so like this. Be gone with you. Oh, this is so cool. Ah! 
<laughs> that was awesome. I really like that. Complete the rescue mission. 500 kill. It would seem I've grown stronger. All right, one AP. Okay, so it's like an, an ability point for the future. Thank goodness you were here. Would you mind if I asked your names? My name is Frederick Lester. My companion here is Andreas Ronderson. That's uh... And our third is Isla Wigan. We are in the employ of the Wigan family. I see. So one I of them is Lorraine Luxor. Lorraine. <laughs> so one of them is the Again, I I, I wish I knew which was it, but one of them's the daughter or, or or the son of the employer, right? Lorraine Luxor, I see like uh, Are you which... familiar with Duke William Hende of the Lord's Council? The Duke is establishing a private military unit and has entrusted me with the task. From mm. what I've seen today, the three of you would be an ideal fit, should you be interested. If you are, visit our headquarters at Elm Camp. I will see to it you are let through. I mean, we potentially a new employer. this private mercenary unit, eh? It seems the plan's coming together, Andreas. Mm, was this all part of their plan to find an employer? Aye. Onward and upward. Let's go. That's Andreas. Okay. So far, the battle system was very cool. I really, really liked it. The voice acting is very Andreas well done as well. Andreas and his fellow Central Field mercenaries mm -hmm. come to the rescue of a government official, Lorraine Luxshaw, and are invited to join Duke Hende's private militia as a result of the prowess they display. This unit is headed by Commander Yalzum Jordan, a former knight from a mid-ranking noble family. And the mercenary trio's first task is to go and meet their new commander at the unit's base. Here we are. <clears throat> It's amazing! <gasps> wow! Well, the Duke is said to be a connoisseur of foreign culture. <gasps> this, he would have had specially imported, I'm sure. Well, well, well. <gasps> Not just a ragtag band of sellswords after all. I'm intrigued. Beautiful game. Oh my god. It's a beautiful game. Greetings, everyone. I'm the General Administrator for the unit, Lorraine Luxshaw. And this is our commander. Yulzim Jordan. I'm in charge of this unit. I assume what? you're the new recruit. Yes. I am Frederick Lester. Andreas Ronderson. Isla Wigan at your command. Okay, so Wigan. Her. Well, he was a brilliant fighter. Never struck me as... The fatherly type. I'm sure you will endeavor not to sully our unit's name. Oh, I will. Now, like other mercenaries, we take requests from the citizenry. But with one important caveat. Since this unit is financed by Duke Hende, his orders always take precedence. No exceptions. Don't disappoint him. Hmm. A lot of weight. That looks very well done. Oh, okay. I trust in your ability. From now on, we will be employing you as mercenaries. I look forward to working with you. Once again. As you heard from Commander Jordan, Duke William Hende set up this unit. I shall now explain. Using this private funds, using his private funds, he endeavors to bring together the best talent from across from across Al Aletian? The Al Aletian. Consequently, and he expects a commensurate, uh, commensurate 
return? Commensurate return? These are like really fancy words, all right? <laughs> but with your skills, I trust he shall not be left wanting. And with that... Now then, before you take to the field, let's get you some equipment. You will surely succeed. I made some arrangements. I made arrangements at the shop. One of our assistants is there, so please speak to them. Come to think of it. Oh, and let me replace that Magillumic, Magillumic orb. There is a risk of it exploding in a state like that. Very well. Understood. Rias can move freely around the Elm camp. <clears throat> From here, you can access uh, customization options and system settings. Your current main quest will be displayed on the left. Progressing through the main quest will advance the story. Completing all quest objectives will earn you various rewards. You can check the current quest from the quest list on the main menu. Cool beans! Alright, let's see. Uh, what, what do we got? Okay, so we can actually move around. Okay, this is very cool. The game looks, it looks very well done. Very beautiful. That, that stuff over there, the, the table, actually looks like wood. <clears throat> uh, let's speak to you. What is it? Do not idle. Free time is best spent on training, better self to better the units. No, he's not wrong. You know what? I, I can't even be mad at you. Uh, do I go here? Yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, I guess I speak to him next. He's my there partner. Things are going well, Reyes. And a lot, and a lot of that is down to you. Keep it up. So I guess this is the plan. It's like, oh, let's. Uh, I wonder if like they staged the attack so that we can get good, we can get in good favor with uh, with her to infiltrate this unit. <sighs> They're making it too obvious. If I'm right, they made it too obvious. I'm just, I'm just saying. All right. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, just like uh. Okay, so I guess I speak to you. Yes. Oh, Andreas. Don't worry, Lorraine breathed me on the situation. And also... Here, you've been allocated this weapon. What is that, a rusted sword? Yeah, well. I know it's not much, but it beats anything you'll find in town. My thanks. Thank you. Ooh. I must say, rescuing an official by chance and becoming a duke's hands, that's quite the luck. Yeah, I got a feeling they staged that. <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Yeah. I've got a feeling you're destined for great things. Let's give our best for the unit, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm sure I don't need to tell you. Well, you'll have to equip that weapon if you want to use it. Yeah, no, no shit. Okay, uh, shop unlocked. Uh, quest updated. Open the equipment menu. Okay, so... The mercenary unit will grow stronger as you complete quest. Doing so will increase the unit rank and allow you to earn rewards and perks. Keep an eye out for special get quest that will raise your badge rank, allowing you to obtain perks and upgrade uh, facilities. Move the cursor over a over a mission to display the details. Okay, each element of the blue fox badge can be upgraded, increasing various ranks. Increasing various rank will offer the following benefits: meal rank boosts the attributes of all units; skill tree rank unlocks new skills and skill tree; shop rank unlocks new products for the shop. Weapon Development Rank unlocks new weapons for development. Magellimic Orb Research Rank unlocks new engravings for the Magellimic Orb Research. I'm guessing I'm not going to be allowed to use Bahamut. <laughs> okay, Equipment. Mm -hmm. From the Equipment menu, you can customize weapon accessories, items, and Magellimic Orbs. Each piece of equipment has a rarity level, and the rarer the pieces tend to be more powerful. Obviously, weapon can provide the following effects: boost the unit's attributes, enable the use of the weapon skills. Different characters can equip different types of weapons. Equipment accessories can boost the unit's attributes and grant new passive skills. A unit can equip up to two accessories at once. Peachy. So again, this looks like this looks like worse than what I was doing. Let's just equip it. You see, it looks like a rusted dagger. That's a cutlass. But still, it looks rusted. Uh, do I have anything else? No. See, it's locked. See, I can't even use the summon anymore. What is that? A bronze lance? Bronze is not a very good material for making weapons. 
bronze sword. It's still sharp, but it's not something I would trust. Cool beans. All right, what do I do now? So quests. So talk to Isolaire. All right. Anyway. Let's, go. Let's check on Easy and Fred. Are you serious? He's oh, that's Isolaire. Oh, I don't exactly feel welcome. They all seem to be dismissing me without a second glance. Yeah, However, that's, sorry about that. They'll change their minds when they see you fight. Sorok trained you well. Ah. True. Back home, no one could match me. That is until you two showed up eight years back. Ah. One must always be open to new challenges, Easy. It's easier to understand. It's easier to remember her name like that. Hm. Go ahead and talk down to me while you still can. I'll show you. One day, I'll be a legend, just like my dad. You wait and see. That's a girl, right? <laughs> That'll do it. So, so just be careful. I might be the one giving you orders before I... long. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. You know what? I don't even know. You know, that reminds me. You know what? I wonder why so many troops are gathered in the capital. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll go talk to the other guy. Alright, dude. There we go. A mercer unit and no one with close ties to the government as well. It's finally happening. Oh really? Seven years has passed since Levy's death. Yet I, yet I remember it as clear as if it was yesterday. Damn. Every day I wonder if I had only been a little stronger. Could I have done something? Uh hmm. I realize that no good will come from dwelling upon it. Of course. Another weakness of mine. All the more reason. But one that drove me to make a bow at least. I need to muster more strength first. I wish I had like the ability to do proper voice acting. I bow that I would grow stronger. Strong enough that when the time comes, I'll be do ready. Me proud. We will bring about the world What? We will bring about the world Levy dreamed of. Rias, you and I, together. What about Izzy? I. That we will. Things are going rather well, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. I mean, finding out those bandits' plans? Talk about a stroke of luck. I mean, I know you have your ways, Rias, but where's to pick up a tidbit like that? I simply happened across it. This is a big step forward in any case. For Izzy, as she strives to prove herself. No, it isn't she. For you <laughs> and I, as we aim to bring peace to the country. Again, I, the reason why I said that is because, like, Square Enix is very famous of, like, making feminine male characters. Like, feminine-looking male characters. And, uh... Alright, I just... I couldn't, like, dis distinguish her a little bit, you know? Uh, at least now I know. <laughs> May our dreams spur us on to victory. And may we three fight as one. Here, here. Also, it doesn't help that, that that's basically a cutting board. Okay, I said it. I said it. <laughs> the era of myths gives way to an era of great turmoil. War looms dark over the Rotale mainland. And amid the unrest... The common bandit Trovelt Chauvia sees his opportunity and establishes an empire. Mm. Commanding a disciplined army and versed in modern magic, the empire is a power to be reckoned with. It promptly establishes control over the western part of the continent. Rotale's other nations respond by forming an alliance to combat the threat of the empire. Despite their combined strength, they were largely powerless to resist the Empire's advance. The continent was ravaged by the devastating war between the Empire and the Alliance. However, one nation remained unaffected by the chaos. The Kingdom of Alatane, okay, on Diofield like Island, situated off the northwestern coast of Rotale. On the mainland, 
the war reached a stalemate when the powerful Verman Republic joined forces with the Alliance. The two sides were now evenly matched. However, localized fighting continued to intensify in a bid to secure Jade, a resource for modern magic. With Jade believed to be abundant on Diofield, the attention of both the Empire and the Alliance inevitably turned towards the island. The Kingdom of Alatain, Ward of the Orgus, looked destined to have its soil stained with the blood of battle. Reminds me of like the the story of uh, Valkyria Chronicles actually. Like that's actually how it started. It's like having joined Duke Handis mercenary unit, Andreas oh ah, damn. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be boys, so I waited a little bit. That's my fault. Uh anyways. Got a sec. Huh? Back already, Rias. Always quick work with you, isn't it? Again, the story seems very very similar to Bakura Chronicles. It's basically the same thing. Like, they're fighting for a mineral. Like, the same in Bakura Chronicles. I think they were fighting for... I can't remember the name of that the material, but that's basically what they were fighting for. And the, the Empire basically took over, and then, you know, they're trying to get into... Rangus? I can't remember the name of that area but it's the story is very similar they're almost parallel right what's it been only a month since you arrived and already you're nearly an indispensable you're nearly as indispensable as me uh, oh, mm -hmm. bother. oh come on I meant nothing by it you moody git all oh, Lorraine was looking for you by the way <laughs> tell you what once you've been on once you've been and seen her, you can treat me to an ale. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> Man, the way they speak is, is, is a little bit uh, confusing. <laughs> talk to Lorraine. Okay, I'll go talk to Lorraine. Where's uh, it's upstairs? No, no, no. This way. Can I run? Oh, okay, so I can. Okay, I can run. Okay, that's cool. Where's Lorraine? As expected. The work you and your comrades have done this past month has been nothing short of remarkable. Andreas. Your strategic insight and intelligent gathering skills in particular have impressed me, Rias. If you wouldn't mind. I say your unit has more than earned their right to join us at the planning table. How does that sound? Take a moment to gather your thoughts, should you need it, and pull hey. up a chair. A failed mission lowers the unit's reputation and reflects poorly on me. Remember that. Won't you? Uh, okay. As expected. Your talents are, are ex exceptional, Andres. I'm very glad I invited you to join us. Oh, thank you. Uh, so what do I do? Oh, pull up a chair. Select the marker on the map to begin a mission. Each mission has an assigned recommended level, and if you don't meet this, you may need to increase your character's level by completing other missions. Very cool. I like this. Uh, so here, level six. Yeah, I, I am level six. I started at level five. Uh, are there other little missions I can do here? Like, oh, I can't. I did compare this uh, the story to Bucky Chronicles in a way, but I wish Bucky Chronicles was like this. <laughs> this is really cool. I really like this. Like. Kind of like a war board game type of style. I really like this. I, I don't have a choice. I gotta go this way. Oh, I gotta hold. Okay. I was like, just go already. I, I gotta hold it. Our next mission has come directly from Duke Hende. It will be carried out along with other mercenary units. Hmm. The target is a large-scale bandit camp in the Regia Highlands, on the border between Centralfield and Westfield. That's cool. Droves of mercenaries from across the region have been mobilized for this particular task. We will combine to make a large strike force and attack in concert. So, any questions? Commander, numbers are hardly a boon when the way to the bandit camp leads through a narrow gorge. Indeed. 
rather than engage the enemy head on, we could target their leaders in a stealth attack. Yes. If we take a small unit and set off tonight, we will have a good chance of catching them off guard. Then there should be only a handful of surviving bandits left. The main force can mop them up when they arrive at the break of day tomorrow. You suggest merely pretending to work jointly with the others to steal a march on the enemy. Yes. I propose that Frederick, Isolaire, and myself form a separate task force for this purpose. I also suggest that you join the main group, Commander Yulzum, to draw attention away from our movement. And better keep up the pretense. Very well. If it is a diversion that's required, I would certainly help to make it convincing. I feel we would also benefit from having a talented sniper join our ranks. The Knight Errant Iscarion would certainly fit the bill, Commander. He is one of the mercenaries participating in the raid. A self-proclaimed knight, no? Very well. I will visit him at the encampment after you set off and ask him to join you. Thank you, Commander. Now, we had better set off for the Regia Highlands. Cool. That's cool, so I got, I'm getting a potential new party member. That's very nice. Yeah, and I do like the strategic elements of this. I'm actually a huge fan of that. Central field, Reg Highlands. Reggae? Highlands. I don't really understand why the bandits have started attacking the cliff folk, to be honest. Strategic. Perhaps they're after some rare treasures. Or maybe, maybe there's been a territorial dispute between those that dwell in the Highlands. I suppose we'll have to ask them about that, won't we? Though, I imagine they'll be tight-lipped. Huh? All right, then we'd best get ourselves to the base of the mountain. More troops should be joining the main force before long. Yes. The plan is for them to set off for the bandit camp at first light. Good. Then we should make haste. Are we getting a new party member? Who's there? Oh, that's well, it. well. What do we have here? You don't look like bandits. You look cool. Mercenaries, perhaps. It's Carrion. And I might ask... Who are you? Didn't they tell I you that in the briefing? Scarion Colchester. He's here already? Wow! Amazing! Commander Jordan works ever so quickly. No. He doesn't work this quickly. A legion of mercenaries all attacking at once would lead to utter carnage. And would result in casualties among the people we're trying to help. Also, unlike a regular army, mercenaries are not used to cooperating. Meaning they are looking out for themselves, and only themselves. <laughs> a full-on assault is bound to fail. Therefore, I decided it more efficient to eliminate their leaders ahead of time. You are going to do that alone? I prefer my own company when picking out unsuspecting targets. What a badass. Would you not think it'd be better if we worked together? I suppose it might. You do seem different to the money-grubbing mercenaries I've met before. You've piqued my interest. Let us join forces, if only for the moment. I'll take that as a compliment. Now, we'd better be on our way. Like, the other guy thinks like a... Uh, Get your bow ready, strategically. Your famous archery skills are required. All right. Very well. <coughs> Call me Iska. Much better. Iska. As expected, the enemy are focused on our main battle group, leaving an opening for us. Sounds very much like my time to shine. I'll provide cover should the enemy spot you. Sounds good. Let's go. Cool. Sharpshooter's uh, unit performs range attacks. Obviously. Select the sharpshooter will display their attack range. Sharpshooters will automatically attack enemy units that enter their that enter this range. If they aren't given in a moment or if they aren't given a movement or attack order. So if I just leave them be and the, and the enemy enters the, the range, they'll attack. 
cool. Uh, okay, so let's see. Defeat Goffrin. All allies defeated. Treasure chest. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's some conditions to get. Huh? There's a drawbridge over there. It's been raised. No doubt to keep intruders out. But look what's next to it. Their base is turrets. Exactly. If we capture it, we should be able to lower the bridge. Let's make it our priority. Cool. Various structures on the map allow you allow your units to perform actions such as lowering drawbridges or destroying barriers. Capture the tower up ahead to lower the drawbridge. Peachy, let's do this. Let's go. Uh, let's let's move them all together. So the first order of business is I have these two enemies here, and then I can go in for the tower. So let's let's bring them all here. Understood. Okay, hold up. <laughs> oh shit, they're gonna get it. That wasn't smart, buddy. Alright. Okay, hold up. <laughs> okay, that that was actually my fault. I shouldn't have done that. Uh be gone with you. Okay, so that, that was on my bad on my part, alright? I shouldn't have done that. Alright, let's, let's try the item. Nice. Now, let's move her here. Let's get going. Let's move... Where, where are you going? Let's move him here. Understood. And then move him... No. Move him here, or else he's understood. Wait, aren't you supposed to capture that? Got it. Capture it. We've captured it. There we go. Mine. <laughs> okay, so that was a bad strategic uh, approach I did there. I shouldn't have moved all my targets. Uh, move a unit to a treasure chest to open it. Items from chest of uh, these chests will be obtained as rewards upon completing a mission. Okay, so I won't get them right away. These items. Oh, Jade Fragment. These items instantly restore the HP and EP of all unit of all allied units and fill up the TP gauge. Move a unit nearby to pick them up. Okay. Let's move on my here. Way. She might as well flank. Let's get going. And then move here. Here. There are only two units here. Next time. Okay. On my way. Okay. Right. So let's grab them all, and let's cross the bridge. Again, I gotta be careful this time. I'll stop right let's before I have to cross. Okay. So let's look at the battle situation. So I got a unit here. Unit. Unit. And a treasure chest over here. Healing potion. And then these are barricades. Got to show the barricades. And I take over another to open the gates. To oh, to operate another drawbridge. Okay. Cool. So, order of business. I'm sending out my tank. No. I'm sending you out first. And I'm going to bring you here. And Understood. you here. You will come here. Understood. Want you to Got stop it. here and you here. On my way. Let's get going. Go. Oops. Let's try to bring an end to this real quick. Gone with you. Right. Here goes. Perfect. I think the other guy can hold his own for now. Let's move him. Uh, 
I wish I could just like move it just like oh, understood. Oh. Next time. Got it. On my way. Nice. So I can summon now, right? Yeah, I can summon Bahamut. Enemy down. That's nice. I don't need to summon him. Alright. So understood. Let's move him this way. We'll move. Okay, so I can actually like sneak up on him. Go, go like this. Let's get going. Move you to the treasure chest. Very well. And then you up here. Again. I got it. Yes. I what think I this will do. Gimme, gimme. Ah, uh, Jade Crystal card. Okay. So now we can actually move you forward here. Understood. Understood. Once he makes his way there, I'll launch an attack forward. Very well. Bring her here. Got it. Okay. I wish I could like turn the. I've got there it. Let's do this. <laughs> I wish I could like stop him and then turn him, but I can't. I was like, what happened? Okay, cool. You Try to finish this part. Attack. Be gone with you. Perfect. Next target. Uh... Let's get going. Perfect. Got it. Let's destroy that one. Do I need to destroy all three? Come on. Go. Oh, never mind. Let's just. <laughs> it wouldn't Very let me well. do that. I've got it. Mm. Oh, I can increase the speed of the attacks. Uh, the speed of the battles. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess. Uh, we're doing pretty bad on HP, but uh, hold up. Let's move you here. Understood. And then let's start moving you guys here. Uh, more than likely, you're they're gonna try to. Understood. On my way. I can barely stand. Very well. Let's move him. Let's get going. Where have items? Or can I use Bahamut and just like eliminate them all? Nah, no, let's just go like this. Chill bash. Be gone with you. Target Perfect. eliminated. No, that's not, uh, hold up. Let's eliminate him. Next. Is that all you have? Be gone with you. Alright, you know what? I gotta take care of you. I gotta take care of you. You're, you're, you're in my way. Be gone with you. Perfect. Next target. Got ready to have Go. Oops. On my way. Alright! One down! Not bad. On my way. Uh, it's kind of nice that I'm getting that stuff, but I kind of need healing. I think I should have. I think I didn't equip uh, healing items. I think that was on my way. I didn't think I had to equip them. Perfect. All right, let's all move you over here. Well. Uh, I guess the next objective is that tower. Go. Capture. Can I capture or? On my Huh. I thought it would just capture it as soon as I got there, but you gotta double click it. What are you dogs here? Now he must be the Oops. leader of those bandits. Take him down and his mob will surely scatter. Indeed. We'll be done with these scoundrels before the break of day. Nice. 
When an enemy unit uses a skill, its area of effect will be displayed. It is possible to dodge a skill by moving out of its area of effect. Some units have skills that prevent enemy skills from being performed. Try using Easy's <laughs> skill bash to prevent the enemy from using their skills. Because it stuns them. Perfect. Uh, Understood. Oops. Alright, let's grab them. At least move them over Got here. <laughs> now let's grab the entire unit. Uh, oh crap, that... That's a long range. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna move over here. Okay. Uh, how far is the My Bahamut range? Enough to at least get these two guys. Yeah, because that ranger is definitely gonna kill me. Power a thousand. Not even enough. I'll do it. Be gone with you. Perfect. Oh, is that a healing item? Perfect. Oh, so I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Here it goes. I gotta let me first. Be gone with you. Next target. I gotta move from to get God, this. This is bad. Out. This is bad. Okay, now move him back. On my way. Damn. Damn, that guy's gonna get taken out. Oh, oh, wait, wait. There we go. How can oh, I let oh. this happen? Uh, once the unit's HP reaches zero, they become incapacitated and cannot perform action. Send a, another unit to their location to rescue them. If all units are inca incapacitated, the game's over. Perfect. Okay, so. Well, not perfect, but still. Understood. Can you stand? My thanks. Oh. Here it goes. Okay, I gotta move him so he can at least do some damage. Uh, oops. Some fall. Understood. This ain't gonna be good, but uh, assassination. Oh, whoa! I got him. What a fool I was to let. Oh wait, he's talking. To let that common criminal pull the wool over my eyes. Hmm. Okay, so uh, a lot of mistakes were made, <laughs> mainly by me. <laughs> uh, treasure chest. Complete the missions within four minutes. Yeah, it, it took seven minutes. Uh, a lot of no allies to follow in battle. Yeah, that was a me thing. I screwed up. One SP. Yeah. But it's kind of nice. It, it gives you like replay replayability to come back later and uh, redo missions. It would seem I've grown stronger. Nice. Hmm, very cool. I didn't use my archer's abilities to my advantage. I screwed up a lot. Excellent work. The bandits soon fell apart without their leaders. Yes. Thank you, Commander. By the way, I take it that you heard that someone, in fact, incited the bandits to attack the cliff folk. Yes. And there are knights looking into the matter. <clears throat> As it happens, Commander, a knight's requested your audience. Fine, I will see them now. You are free to go. Enjoy some well-deserved rest. Well, I suppose we should turn in for the night. Hmm? Iska? Frederick, long day, wasn't it? It was indeed. Not as long as it would have been without your help. There's a place for an archer of your caliber in our unit. Won't you consider joining us? <laughs> Thank you. I know I told you before that I preferred to work alone. That I valued my independence. You got a French. I like her but I admit, I mean. last night, my limitations were laid bare. Yeah. I realized the importance of having allies. Not for my own sake. But so I might help more people than I could ever help alone. He's got a righteous... Iska, let me make something clear to you. We are not the highest authority in this unit. That would be the commander. Oh, I know you answer to Yulzim Jordan. Doing a good job of it too, it seems. Yes, well, 
We do our best. So, Iska, what say you? Will you join us? I will. Yes. Then welcome to the unit. Thank you. It's an honor. Again, uh, also let's say Iska Su ha has kind of like a French aesthetic to it. It looks very cool. After proving his worth in the fight against Goffrin, Iscarion Colchester is asked to join the unit. He had previously fought as a self-styled knight errant, having cut ties with his noble family. Traditionally, the Knights of Alatane rule their own domains and collect taxes from their subjects, from which they pay a portion to the royal government. It is a system widely abused by the aristocracy, who have grown fat off the proceeds. Many of these nobles took up residence in Southfield, the southern region of Teofield. This area is also home to the only trading port on the island. A hub of culture and entertainment. Prosperous on the surface, but below lies a dark underbelly where shady dealings are an everyday occurrence. It is a chaotic place, a melting pot of virtue and vice. Hmm. So the so the royal families tax their the people, and then the government tax the taxes of the royal families. Right? Is that is, is, am I getting that right? <sighs> Oops. Uh, characters can be strengthened by using ability points (AP). To, earn new, to learn new abilities. Abilities can be accessed from each character's equipment screen. AP are acquired when character's levels increases. New unit member, Iscario Colchester. A young knight errant of, errant of noble lineage, reserved by nature, but committed to protecting the weak. Skilled in archery, he can disrupt the enemy's plans by striking from the unit's rear. Cool Care to explain yourself? Hey, Rias, what's the big idea? Uh, what do you what mean? In the world? Iscarion, of course. Sure. He did brilliantly on the last mission. And he's nice, and everybody likes him. It's a oh, nightmare. Damn it all! How do you think it makes me look, eh? I'm supposed to be the easygoing old hand around here. <laughs> Can you talk about... Can't you talk to him about That's it? Not it? I did. What do you think he said? Hmm. I'm nothing without your aid. If we're to protect the people, your strength is sorely needed. <sighs> How am I supposed to compete with that? That man's perfection is person. That man's perfection personified. <laughs> <sighs> Anything else you'd like to get off your chest? <sighs> no. Oh wait, Izzy said she wanted to talk to you. She's in the laboratory. <laughs> it's a room by the shop. Well, off you go then. Don't keep her waiting. <sighs> You're the one doing all the talking. <laughs> nice, nice, cool. All right, cool, cool. I'm actually gonna end the demo here. Uh, it's a, it's about an hour. I think giving an hour to a demo is uh, sufficient enough to kind of give a first impressions on it. Um, again, I'm gonna be mentioning the cons first. Uh, th there aren't really that many actually. <laughs> the only con I did see is that in the battlefield itself, is that it's kind of hard to move. Is carrying. Uh, when I try to like shift them a little bit, it, it was a little difficult. Again, it's not it's not even a big deal, you know. It's just like you just move them, and you just move them again, and that's it. You know, you're done. <laughs> uh, the other con is that uh, it, when I went into battle again, it, it did emphasize it, but I wish it kind of like reminded you before you started your your, your first battle. Oh, it gives you like a small reminder because I forgot to equip items, you know. And uh, you're supposed to equip items before you go out into the battlefield. So you can use them again when it comes to equipment. I felt like I did okay. Again, it's just like an hour, and uh, as you can see, the cons themselves—they're not really a big deal at all. They're more like they're more like stuff that you can work around, or maybe one of the one of the cons was like my fault. I just wish they gave me a little reminder. It was just like I, I got absorbed, <laughs> basically. Pros: uh, the voice acting is very well done. Again, when it comes to voice acting in Square Enix, they always do a good job of hiring like 
the best voice actors when it comes to you know whatever work that they're working on uh the graphics look really good i was actually very impressed from the beginning and then on the battlefield itself it kind of carries itself into the battlefield and something i mentioned oh yeah this looks really cool but just wait until you get into battle and then it quickly threw you into battle i thought that was perfect i'm like this is great this is what i like threw you right into the heat of it and it, it did a good job of explaining the battle system itself um the home base is pretty cool <laughs> again like when i saw the map i was like yeah in like the in the beginning like oh you can choose which missions you want to go into etc etc i really like that and then it showed you like the battle plan and then it showed you like how the area that you're going to go into looks like kind of give you like a little briefing uh i hope that before every big battle like a story mission if you're doing like side missions or side quests it's not a big deal but i hope like they kind of give you like a small briefing and when you're introduced different characters the way that they introduced uh, Iscarian was very cool. It, awesome character designs, by the way. <laughs> uh, I feel like Iscarian looks better than the main characters. <laughs> like the guy with the big armor, it's it's not my cup of tea when it comes to that. It's like, yeah, your armor looks a little too much, but it makes sense for the time period that it's quote unquote taking place in. Uh, but Iscarian is probably the coolest looking character. <laughs> character design is cool. Battle system is very cool. Uh, I like the way that you kind of move forward and then again, this is bar the very beginning um, of the game itself. Uh, they did showcase, oh, by the way, if you take over a tower, you can lower bridges and then of course, uh, maybe in the future and different iterations, maybe that will have different uh, mechanics and where you move characters to different locations in order to activate different things. Um, man, what else can I say? Like, I'm really praising this game. It, it was very well done. Uh, I guess I like if, if I were to grade this game, uh, or at least the demo, first impressions demo. Uh, if I were to grade it, I'd give it a nine. Really, it's definitely one of those games that, like, you know what? I might buy this one. <laughs> I might buy this one. I'm not sure if I'd play it for the channel because again, games like this are they, they tend to be in, they tend to be a little long. But if I do get the itch and like maybe I'll do a playthrough of uh, Deal Field uh, Chronicles. Again, the game does have some similarities to Valkyrie Chronicles, <laughs> actually. I did mention that. But, uh, yeah, this game is definitely, like, a must-play. I'm like, or at least definitely I'll play it, for sure. But if you guys are looking for something that's strategic, uh, again, uh, voice acting is very well done. The dialogue is very well written. It's definitely, like, a different, like, a fresh, of, like, a breath of fresh air compared to, like, Relay. <laughs> Where the like the dialogue and just the way there was the pace and everything is a huge, huge difference. Like this is how you do it. Th this is what I meant when I played uh, relay. Is like uh, relayer, yeah, relayer. When when I played relayer, is like, yeah, it, it's nice to like introduce the characters, but have like something like in between to kind of break the monotony of like listening to characters. You know, like I understand you want to introduce characters. But the way they did it here is that they're slowly introducing the characters as you kind of move along, uh, demonstrating a story, showing the gameplay, demonstrating the story, gotta give you a small tutorial, going to battle again, and then showing you a little bit more of the story. This is the way that they presented it for that one hour that I played was perfect. That's how you do it. Sorry, Relayer, uh, you were a cool game, but uh, when it comes to getting the player hyped, to want to play a game, you want to do it in the manner that it was done here in Dio Field Chronicles. This is how you do it. So again, I, I'm going to grade it a 9 out of 10. I'm def I definitely do have the itch to continue playing it. Uh, maybe I will buy the game and play it. Again, if you guys want to watch a playthrough, uh, I'll let you know if I purchase it. More than likely, I do want to purchase it soon because uh, <laughs> the story is pretty cool. This is only the demo, so I can only go so far. But uh if you guys do want to watch a playthrough, let me know down in the comment section below. This is definitely a game I'm I'm definitely going to get. Uh, that is it for Deal Field Chronicles. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like and share. If you like it a lot, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.